have you ever wondered what happens after we die? It's a question that has puzzled humanity for centuries. Today, we're going to explore this mystery through the lens of the Bible, uncovering key insights on death, the state of the dead, and what comes after. The Bible often describes death as a sleep, a state of unconsciousness. One of the most well-known verses regarding death is found in Ecclesiastes 9 verse 5, which says, For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing. The dead, according to this verse, are not conscious. They are unaware of the passage of time, events on earth, or anything that happens around them. In John 11 verses 11 to 14, Jesus also referred to death as sleep when he spoke of Lazarus. After saying these things, he said to them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I go to awaken him. The disciples misunderstood, but Jesus clarified, Lazarus has died. This description of death as sleep implies that it is not a permanent state, but rather a temporary condition awaiting something more, resurrection. The Bible promises a resurrection from this state of sleep. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16 provides this hopeful assurance. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. At Christ's return, those who have died will be raised back to life. This is a key moment in the Bible's view of the afterlife. Death is not the end, but a pause before we face the ultimate judgment. In John 5 verses 28 to 29, Jesus also explains that there will be two resurrections, one for life and one for judgment. Do not be amazed at this, for a time is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and come out. Those who have done good will rise to live, and those who have done evil will rise to be condemned. This passage emphasizes that all people will be resurrected, but the outcome depends on the choices made during their lifetime. It's a sobering reminder that our actions today carry eternal significance. What happens after the resurrection? The Bible speaks of two ultimate outcomes. For those who are resurrected to life, they will inherit eternal life, as promised in Revelation 21 verse 4. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. For the righteous, death will be no more, and a new, perfect existence begins. This is a beautiful image of a world where suffering no longer exists. But there is also a warning for those resurrected to judgment. Revelation 20 verse 14 says, then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. The second death refers to the ultimate destruction of the wicked. It is not eternal torment, but complete annihilation and end of existence, as supported by Malachi 4 verse 1. Surely the day is coming, it will burn like a furnace. All the arrogant and every evildoer will be stubble, and the day that is coming will set them on fire. This is the final judgment and the end of sin, making way for eternal peace. So, what happens after we die? According to the Bible, death is a sleep-like state of unconsciousness. But it's not the end. There is hope for resurrection and eternal life for those who have followed God's way, while others will face judgment. These truths offer hope and perspective, urging us to live our lives with purpose, seeking the eternal life promised to those who trust in God.